Yes, sir. Okay, it's six o'clock. I Oh, like just to call the uh, Central County Council regular meeting for Tuesday, May the 9th, to order. Um, Ms. B, would you please give us an invocation? May we all stand? Please the Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, Father, we thank you for this allowing us to come to this budget session again and for giving us this task to be good stewards of what you blessed us with. We acknowledge that it is in you that we live, move, and have our being, and that the earth is yours and the book is thereof. We just thank you and ask that you continue to give us wisdom and to help us to be the good stewards that you have appointed us to be that in all of our conversations, all of our studying, all of our critiquing, everything that we do concerning this budget, that we will be wise, fair, loving, and considerate in the way we make our distribution. We ask you these things in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are there any changes to the agenda? No, sir. We will approve, sir. We will approve properly. Secondly, that we approve the agenda and the discussion. Hearing none, all in favor? Uh, uh, in favor. All opposed, saying the agenda is approved. I have a motion to approve our minutes. So move we'll for a minute. Second. It's been moved and properly seconded. Then we have a discussion. Hearing none, the minutes are approved. Wow. We have no land use matters tonight. On the new business, ordinance number 23988, the first reading of the bond ordinance. Mr. Chair, council members, good night. Uh, good evening. Uh, this is the first reading of uh, what we call our capital bond ordinance. For three and a half million dollars, council has reviewed the list of projects that staff has recommended. Uh, this is title only this evening. Uh, we'll get into greater detail in a second. This is approved for a second. We move to properly second it that we pass our bond ordinance number 23988 in title only. Uh, so we move to second it. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Ordinance number 23987, first reading in title only. First reading of our budget. Yes, sir, Mr. Chair, this is a general fund annual budget request title only. Uh, at this point, we have projected revenues at $58,718,334. Uh, the general fund expenses at $59,982,350. For at this time, first reading deficit budget of $1,264,016. That's what we have, sir, for the first reading title only for the budget ordinance. County General Fund budget ordinance. Sorry. We moved and properly seconded that we have first reading and title only for our budget ordinance number 2397. All in favor? Aye. Uh, opposed. Aye. Uh, uh, opposed. Okay. Ordinance number 23986, first, first reading. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Council. Um, you saw the pictures of the landing uh, for the uh, <coughs> scientist property on the corner of Ruben Road and Duckworth Road. I see that uh, it's just uh, a house that's sitting in the middle of a pond. Uh, we've got that top that's drained, and we own the adjoining property to the rear on the left. The front on Ruben Road, and the property owner went to out to Conyers to ask if he could get an easement across our property, dig a ditch. But this property was drained. Congress came to me. The commission I looked at it. We owned the joint property. We bought it so that no one would build a house on that property as a way of protecting the airport from you know, encroachment. So we don't have any intention to use that property for anything, and it wouldn't hurt us to allow him to come on our property and dig the ditch. We're not going to dig the ditch, but allow him to dig the ditch. But it was drained, it was drained down to a, a culvert that runs under Brooklyn Road uh, by Hill Road, which um, then Straight on down Hill Road. And the water doesn't go anywhere, it just sits there under the Mosquito Haven. There's a public station. Yeah. Move approval first reading. Second. 
We move to topic second that we have first reading on ordinance number 2396. Any discussion? Oh, but we have to have an ordinance. Anytime you convey an interest in real property, we need to need to That makes home rule act requires at least a public hearing. And from my perspective, better practice is to have an ordinance. That way, if somebody comes behind us, we'll ask whether or not there was ever an ordinance provided in the that puts a check in that box. So that's the practice. But I've inherited Henry Richardson, who was the county attorney for years. I think he was the county attorney for the home rule act back then. So I think it's good practice. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. All opposed. Okay, committee reports, budget workshop, Mr. Mason. Uh, no report, sir, as uh, always covered in the request for a regular day. Come down to a report from council members on other meetings, committees, and other conferences. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Washington, welcome. Thank you very much for being recognized. Are we in full council? Yes. 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 Okay. So I just left the Gillian Elementary School for a. Oh, it's well, on. I think it's on. I just left the Gillian Elementary School where the Sumter School District toured the Wedgefield community um, of the school. There were probably at least 100 people um, at, the, at the school. Um, Dr. Wright did an excellent job touring the school. Residents really appreciated um, how the building has been upkept, um, the condition that the building is in, and the amenities um, at the end of the session. And of course, the media was there as well. And at the end of the session, the community expressed the desire that uh, council have conversation with the district about um, possibly using the north end of the building as a community center. And so I'll be talking to county administrator, be talking to you, Mr. Chairman, about having some of those uh, conversations. Lastly, um, I want to express my apologies for being late. As you know, I participated in the tour and got here uh, as quickly as I, as I can. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Uh, monthly reports, Ms. Brand. Yes, sir. <clears throat> in your packet, you'll see several items like um, this one that's up here from the time of site custodial trust. Um, I think I just have about three council members that um, have decided to go, but it is a, a review of safety cleaning in Pinewood area, and those council members that can go, um, you know, I have to make a final list with the young lady to not well in the morning. So if you haven't said yes, or just remind me exactly who planned to attend. So we'll have that. Um, additionally, of course, Mary McLeod, the two Bethune um, the events are coming up May 19th through the 21st. And the Memorial Day activities will be May 29th. In your packet, you have, and I think it's just a wonderful report, um, Helen has given council members a year-end report from the planning department. And it's real, very detailed. Also in the packet is the sheriff's monthly report and bluegrass and barbecue. Um, I believe I have all the names there, but just let's make sure tonight that I do have the name for that. I think I turned in one person's name and he can't go. So, uh, or two people's name, <laughs> they can't go. Yeah, I got yours right. Okay, thank you. <coughs> and this is very special. That I'm getting ready to show you. I have one that's um, landscape, and that's why it keeps going down. But uh, Miss Meredith spoke with me today, and she said that she that the Catch All Community Center will be honoring fathers, a salute to fathers, on Tuesday, May 23rd. It's early drinking morning. So she would like for you all to please come back there 
um, yearly event, but they would like to salute fathers this year. So, um, uh, although Miss McKinney is not a father, she has a husband that's a father, so she <laughs> can bring him with her. And uh, please, if you can participate, let me know so I can let Mrs. Meredith know. And last but not least, um, I received this today from Kyle Kelly, and he, this is a really neat um, project that they're working on, and we've already put this uh, flyer up on the television downstairs, and anyone else that would like to have flyers and have the community participate with the long-range plans, um, Kyle Kelly said that they're trying to get everybody involved and get comments from everyone, and that's it. I had an email that Kyle sent to the SUEX members that has all this information and it also has the link. It, it does. I could, I just, they kind of paste the um, information, but not the um, URL. Okay. But, so I, I, but I have it. When he sent it to us, I have it because I, I, I've already clicked on it and gone mm -hmm. online and checked it. So yes. I'll forward you the email. I appreciate it. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. Okay. Administrative report. Mr. Chair, quickly, we have uh, just wanted to inform council that we are uh, in the process of uh, making application to the South Carolina Association of Counties for the J. Graham Mitchell Award this year. Um, I think we discussed it maybe informally before. Uh, it's, a, a, it's about our litter effort. We're certainly proud of what we're doing in our community and think, think it can be duplicated around the state and be a model for other communities. But the application is due next Monday, uh, the 15th. We've already sent in the preliminary information. We've got the application process uh, packet. Uh, that's due in on the 15th. Uh, and then by the 24th, we'll then have a formal uh, presentation, which will include a video. Uh, Joe's been working on that uh, quite a bit here recently. Uh, we have Ms. Dennis, of course, and Ms. Hyatt that are part of that team that's pulling all this information together. Uh, but that, again, that, that formal presentation will be on the 24th. Uh, Joe's actually been around getting some I guess you would call it individual testimony on, on the issue. The superintendents on there, it's our chairman, and I think the mayor on the three. But anyway, we're excited about this opportunity. A lot of work's going into it, and as y'all know, you never know what the outcome's going to be. But I think it's something we certainly should be proud of, and we'll be more than happy to demonstrate this to the entire state at the uh, annual conference. So just want to let council know that uh, we're working on that. It should be concluded over the next month. Shelby, you want to make any public comment? Yeah. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. Sorry. It's been moved to probably second. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I thought you might Mark. surprise us. Chime in. 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 Chime in.